Hey y'all, so this is the oil rig, or the oil pump problem, uh, the last problem in your homework. And it's asking you to determine the angular velocity of this walking beam. So this beam walks back and forth. It's, it's asking you under this uh, particular instant in time, theta is equal to 75 degrees, what is the angular velocity of this beam? And what is the velocity of the pull rod, so this rod EFG, at the instant shown? So EFG is going to move vertically, and the walking beam will move, will oscillate back and forth. The way I'd approach this would be to figure out the velocity of the major points moving. Those would be points B, C, and E in this case. You could find point, uh, the velocity of B fairly easily. You know there's a four foot difference, but the distance between A and B, and you know the rotational speed of this thing is 10 radians per second. So we can write this out in vector form as VB is equal to omega cross RB, and then substituting in the values for these vectors. We've got negative 10 radians per second in the k direction, and it's, it's negative, this thing's rotating clockwise, we use the right hand rule, and then we'll cross it with 4 foot in the j direction. I'll write this out in the determinant matrix, you can skip ahead if you know, if you know how to evaluate this mathematically. I've got the unit vectors in the first row, and then in, in the subsequent row, I've got the um, units for, or the dimensions for the i, j, and k direction in omega, and the same thing for r. So in this case, r, there's only a component in, I messed up, there's only a component for r in this case of 4 foot in the i direction. So here's 4 foot in the i direction, 0 for the other two components. And then uh, a way to evaluate this thing would be to cross, uh, so take the product of all these three, uh, which is 0, uh, plus the product of these three, which is negative 40 in the j-hat direction. And then for these three, uh, again, we're at 0. And then take the uh, negative value, we take the product of these three, um, these three, and let's say these three. All of these evaluate to 0. All you're left with now is omega cross rb is negative 40 negative 40 uh, feet per second in the j direction. That's associated with um, this product right here in the determinant matrix. So I take the determinant of this matrix, we can come up with a cross product. We've got negative 40 feet per second in the j direction for the velocity of b, which makes sense. Rotating to the right, it's going straight down. The next thing, the next big thing we're interested in is the velocity at c. So this whole contraption, it'll rotate uh, counterclockwise as, as point b moves downward, and we'll get a value of uh, we could just call it omega c d e. And the whole thing is rotating around this hinge at point d. So the velocity at c is equal to omega c d e crossed with r d c. So r d c in this case is the position of c relative to d in this case. So I write this out in vector form. And what I've got, omega c d e, so it's all in the k direction, all out of the, uh, all out of the screen in this case, crossed with r d c, which in this case we've got uh, the position of this vector um, in this case is negative 6 feet in the x direction and a positive 0.75 feet in the vertical direction. So we actually, so this hinge at D is actually 0.75 feet below the point at C. So this, we go negative 6 in the x direction and then upward 0.75 feet. So to evaluate the determinant of this matrix, I've got this, that product, which is 0, plus this product, the product of all three of these, which is negative 6 omega C D E J hat, plus the, uh, the value this k, which is 0, we've got the 0 in that case. And then we go uh, in the other direction, so minus that three terms, there's a zero, it doesn't count. And we do have this term, though, which is, which is equal to negative 0.75 omega c d e i hat. And all the other terms fall out. So the cross product vc in this case, we've got a component of velocity in the negative j direction, so coming downward. We don't know what this is, by the way, so I'm just leaving it omega c d e. So there's a component negative 6 in the downward direction for the velocity of c, and then some small component, smaller component in the negative i direction. So this whole thing is bending sort of backwards in this position. So this head is coming up. It's pulling this thing out of the ground. So let's talk about the third point. Think about that. So it's omega, in this case, c d e, omega cross uh, in this case, R, D, E. And R, D, E, it's a horizontal line. It's coming straight out to where the rope is, is connecting this device. So we've got, if I plug in in vector form, 
Here I've got omega CDE in the k direction again, and then here's six in the i direction, zero in the vertical direction for the uh, position of E relative to D. So if I write this out in uh, the determinant matrix, so I write this out in a matrix, I want to take the determinant of it, here we go. So only in the, the J case, uh, in this in this term, will that be positive? And again, we look this way, nothing, nothing, and nothing in that direction either. So we're left with is VE is equal to 6 omega CDE J hat. So what this is saying, the velocity of E is only in the J hat direction, so it's only coming straight up. It's just pulling the pump, the pump head straight up out of the ground. All right, so step one is complete. We found the velocity, of the, the primary hinge velocities here, V, B, C, and, and E in this case, and I wrote them out there. Next thing I'd recommend trying is to find the velocity of C in terms of the velocity of B plus the relative velocity of B, the velocity of B as relative to C. Oh, I'm sorry, the velocity of C relative to B. So we can rewrite this velocity of B uh, plus omega BC. So it's the rate at which this shaft is rotating. Omega BC uh, crossed with uh, the relative position of C, the position of C relative to B in this case. So in this case, it would be the position of C relative to B would be this vector. So we expect a vector in the negative direction uh, in the x component and some positive direction in the y component. So I'll let you work through the trig on it, but the next thing to figure out is to write the position of C relative to B in its vector form. So you've got, uh, you want to figure out the X, the Y, and the K components of R of this term. Once you do that, throw that into here. We've got the velocity of C, throw that into there. And you've got the velocity of B, and throw that into there. And finally, throw in uh, a vector form for omega BC. It's all in the, the k hat direction, the rotation of this device. What you'll end up with are two equations and two unknowns. Once you equate everything, the two equations that you have are all the components in the i in the j direction. So one equation for all the components in the i direction, and one component or one equation for all the components in the j direction. Of course, the two unknowns that you've got in this case are uh, omega BC and, and omega CDE. So the first part of the question is asking you the angular velocity of the walking beam. So that's simply omega CDE. Once you solve these equations, you've got that. And then what it wants to find is the velocity of the pull rod at the instance shown. So the velocity of the pull rod, once you've got V uh, omega CDE, that's just this uh, velocity E. So velocity of EF and G are all the same, and you'll be able to work through this problem.